feel like you have to be fair to all parties involved. Uh, that that's the only way you can you can achieve that. I know uh, many of the areas that we would you know have similar, maybe not as quite as heated of a of discussion as I've seen lately. But um, you have to get all the stakeholders involved and and find out is there any common ground. Uh, now, once again, I am not in favor of giving a blank check across the entire community and saying that every single acre of farmland is is on the hit list and it is subject to be developed at some time in the future it's not and it shouldn't be uh, we have to be strategic about where we place development and we also have to be strategic about what we allow right uh, i think that some of the the neighboring uh, the neighboring uh, areas uh, that have a, a very large uh, basically agricultural basis uh, i don't think you know obviously you're not going to put uh, you're not going to put something that doesn't fit the master plan, or you should, the comprehensive plan. I think uh, deviating from that really, uh, and I believe I even have used this in the past, it's very tough to, to put the genie back in the bottle. Once, if you have a plan in place and you begin to deviate, it's very difficult to say, okay, when do you course correct too much? Do you overcorrect? Uh, what's going to be allowed? And that's that's a very thin line to to have to walk. the The argument about keeping a lot or the majority of the farmland or all farmland as just agriculture, I think is going to be a challenge because you have to look at it from the property owner as well as the neighbors as well as the developer that's looking to purchase it. There has to be a, a happy median, and that's where the county commission should get all the stakeholders together and try to create that dialogue because that's what's going to actually uh, begin to, I think, heal some of these these uh, these open wounds that are created by some of the content that we've seen lately. What do you feel like is the most um, important component of that process and making sure that you get all the stakeholders at the table. Like, how do you what how do you, you accomplish that? How do you because uh, usually you're on, you're on yes and no, like absolute. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do to draw them in? Well, for instance, you know, if you if you have a piece of property that uh, someone is looking to purchase to redevelop or purchase to to put a development uh, housing uh, whatever the case may be. Um, the, the surrounding property owners are gonna know when that happens. And it's it's our job to reach out to them to say, you know, tell me what your concerns are. Go ahead and start addressing them before they even come to count or come to the commission if possible. And, and I think a lot of that discord will will probably not get to that point or to the point of being contentious. Because at the end of the day, it's I don't think anyone sets out to hurt anyone. It's just we sometimes, human nature, we can have differing opinions. And I think the, the opening the channel of communication is the, is the key to, to unlocking what can and can't be done and, and what's actually appropriate for the community. Well, first of all, with a lot of prayer. <laughs> and that should be, you know, that's all of our thing. Before we make any decision, we should, we should really, you know, get down and think, ask God what, what he has planned for us. Why is he putting this on us? But second of all, really and truly, it's, it's really needs to be, you need to get out. We need to get out and where this planning and zoning problems are at, we need to get there. We need to go talk to people around it. We need to figure out, be transparent, be, let people see you. Figure out what, how is it gonna affect everyone around it? How do they feel? And just being the voice for the, the people where, where it involves the people. We're, we're, trying to, we're trying to make a job harder than what it is. We can really go and find the people around whatever area that is gonna affect we talk with them. We let them work it out because if they're happy with it, then we don't have any issues. And you know, if they're if they're not happy with it, then we've got to sit down. We got to hash it out. We got to figure out why they're not going to be happy with it. What do they think is going on? Because a lot of things they're not happy with can be. It's just really misleading. They get misleading information. They get all these other things. What's going to happen? And it really none of that ever really pans out. So, you know, really just getting out in the community finding out where these, where these problems are taking place at and get around, get, get, get ahead of it. You know, talk to everybody about it before it comes to the board and you have to, and you don't want to hurt people's feelings and you know, you get, you get it handled before then. Uh 
there's never been a better time to upgrade at Franklin Toyota. Hurry in and save big on our entire inventory of your favorite new Toyotas. All marked with the honest, transparent, and upfront pricing you've come to expect from Franklin. The price you see is the price you pay. No gimmicks and no games. Get it fast, get it fair, get it forever. That's the Franklin guarantee, because at Franklin, we're here for you. Visit us on Commerce Drive in Statesboro, or shop our complete inventory online at franklintoyota.com.